Today we're showing you around one of our favorite places in North Alabama, beautiful Lewis Smith Lake. And don't believe the rumors, there's tons to do around Smith Lake. Rather it's kayaking and water sports, or fishing for the elusive Alabama spotted bass, or visiting the Holy Lands in miniature, to chasing waterfalls all over the county. And let's not forget, Smith Lake's not the only local lake around here. There's also covered bridges to explore, miles and miles of hiking and walking trails, and of course, some of the cleanest and clearest water in the entire state. Smith Lake is something to behold. Smith Lake is a man-made lake created in 1961 by Alabama Power Company. It's 21,000 acres but has over 500 miles of short line. In essence, it's a long skinny river with lots to explore. There's many small roads and it can take a long time to get from one end to the other. We're going to start on the western side of the lake at Corinth Day Use area. This is a fairly ran park that you will find clean, well maintained, and for a mere $10 you can get in and access the boat ramp or the public swimming area. At the boat ramp you'll find some basic facilities, trash cans, and plenty of parking. Do remember while you're at Smith Lake, Unlike most areas of Alabama, there is a very specific size limit for largemouth and spotted bass, so be sure to take note of that. The boat ramp features a very nice aluminum floating dock, which makes loading and unloading your boat a breeze. The boat ramp is also nice with two lanes and then an extra lane to walk up and down. This is a big advantage for unloading our kayaks. The water in this area of the lake is just beautiful. It has a nice greenish clear tint to it. It's just one of the prettiest areas on the lake to us. We didn't visit the swimming area because it was very busy the day we were there, but it has full restrooms, a nice sandy beach. During the week, I'm sure it's great, but since we had the advantage of the boats, we made use of that to find a place all to ourselves. This is on the main lake of Smith Lake. This was on a Sunday. We saw very little boat traffic. However, it was a little bit overcast. I was trying to get some footage of some beautiful spotted lake bass on camera on this trip, but they were being a little stingy. But here's a couple I've caught in the past. There are a lot of spotted bass in this lake, and normally running the bank is pretty productive. Smith Lake is just one of those beautiful places, and even when they're not buying, it's a lot of fun. And on a hot summer day, you can jump in, cool off, and have a great day, whether the fish are cooperating or not. Now we're going to head to the other side of the lake, the eastern side, near Rowling Creek or across the lake from Smith Lake Park to a restaurant named Drifters. It's located right on the water and the views can't be beat. It's also some of the best seafood I've had in North Alabama. Well, at least if you get the special. The triple tail was on the menu. It was fresh and it was great. The shrimp, well, I mean, they're just fried shrimp. They were okay. Nothing to write home about, but really great service, really great meal. I would highly recommend Drifters. Ironically, we have actually stayed right behind Drifters in an Airbnb. This is Alleys on the Rock. It's a great place to stay. I'll leave a link below. Now we're headed away from Smith Lake to more the Coleman area to Duck River Walking Trail. This is about 30 minutes from the Ryland Creek area of Smith Lake or 15 minutes from Coleman. It's a county lake that was created for drinking water and it has a walking trail completely around the lake. Now, we are visiting mostly out of my own curiosity for future kayak fishing trips, but we decided to take a short one mile walk down the trail. There are other prettier areas of the trail and also in the summertime, make sure you wear bug spray. We had a few ticks on us when we got done. Overall, it was a little too hot for this. This time of year, I'd like to come back when it's a little prettier, but it is a neat area that's completely free to use. Have you ever been traveling down I-65 and saw the billboards for Jerusalem in miniature? We've always been a little bit curious about exactly what Ava Maria Grotta is. So we popped in to check it out out of just curiosity. It's a short drive from the east side of the lake near Coleman, Alabama. Ava Maria Grotta is the work of Brother Joseph who created most of the structures over an almost 50 year period. Many of the works are famous churches, cathedrals, or other places of importance to the Catholic faith. The grotto itself is located on the grounds of St. Bernard Abbey. However, even if, like us, you're not Catholic, his work is very unique and worth checking out. A sidewalk walking trail takes you through many of his works. The first one, of course, is the scene of Bethlehem, and then there's many other churches, 
and unique things. Probably the neatest part about this first leg is, well, the Abbey Cat. I'll be first to admit the first part of the trail, I wasn't too impressed until you make a corner and get to the actual biblical scenes. And this is where his work is truly impressive. There's so many details, so many famous biblical places that you can spend hours trying to track them all down. It is really a remarkable work. Brother Joseph's work is truly unique and very impressive. But for us, personally, it was neat to see it one time, but I don't think this is a thing we'll ever go back and do again. If you are planning a visit, I would plan for the fall or the spring when the weather's a little bit better. Smith Lake just has so much to offer, so much beauty, so much natural things to do, many great places to eat. We've only scratched the surface in this video. For everything we did, check out the links below. And please, like and subscribe.